back blood would probably be this thing. Now, just what you're going to do with this, you want to spread, roll this completely out flat. You want to make sure there's no kinks in it. Well, then, I, do I need to move? Well, you put it right across my tummy. Okay, Benjamin, if nobody is in the pool, you know, this ladder needs to be inside the pool. That way a kid can't wander over here and climb in the pool. Do you understand that? They the see the pool from the street. Have you ever? We didn't secure it. Have you ever used this thing to back flush before? Several times. Okay. And spread that out. This is just like like these guys. So you're gonna open it. Go to back flush. You might want to hold here because this can come loose. And then just turn it on. Let it run like that for several minutes. The book says about five, but it doesn't have to be exact. You just want to run it for a little while. You can watch here. You see how cloudy this is right now? You're gonna, you, you'll, you'll get sand in there, but you want to go until the water itself is clear, at least. It says to run it for five minutes. Now, once it gets going, you can probably let go of that. Yeah. But I hold on to it just in case it back pressures. And of course, when you're doing this, you're dumping water out of the pool. Yeah. So it looks like it's pretty clear at the moment. Yeah. How often do you back flush? Whenever it, whenever you start losing pressure. Yeah. Pressure no on pressure on the gauge or pressure on the output. Let me go ahead and shut that off. Okay. And go, you turn it off, and you go to rinse. And you turn it on again. And it says about a minute on the rinse. To rinse this out. Yeah, it's to rinse it's that to out, rinse. and it rinse the hose out. Yeah. Probably run that for a moment or two. Yeah, it says about a minute. Don't point that at me. Okay. Go back to closed. And that'll drain out. Then you take that off. And of course you'll lose some water. But that's okay. Cap back on tight. Go back to filter. Now, if you want to open that up, I had trouble opening that, but you may be stronger. If you don't open that up, we can empty out that basket. Hmm. Oh, okay, it's just shifting. Yeah. Stupid water bug. Yeah, see, it's, it's tight. You're stronger than I am. You ought to be able to do it. <laughs> well, it's not worth breaking the thing over, you know. Yeah. Maybe using the stems to pull me out. Wow, that's really on there. Huh? Well, I wouldn't worry about it unless it gets full of uh, stuff. Water in there. And you're gonna drain this the rest of the way out. Uh, well, it may be. Here. That and that. No, no, there's a little thing.
right there. Thing down there. If it was pressurized to about an atmosphere or so. Oh, there we go. Let's get in first. Oh, wait, wait, do you know you can actually, yeah, there's a little pin on that yeah. side. It locks up and down. And then make sure this goes on timer. And it'll run for six hours. Is it, is it set the timer? Yeah. Is that it? Leave the valve open. Once a week, which probably need to do it. Well, I'll do it. I can do it now. It doesn't matter how often, but once a week, you want to add in algae side and clarifier, and I'll show you those and how much.